I want people to call me the book lady. I want that to be my legacy. I want families to remember when they're looking through their books, oh, how do we get that book? Oh, remember the book lady came Yay, and she brought us all those Perfect. books. Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. Confirm that it's you. Yes, it's me. I've always loved reading. When I was a kid, we got books for Christmas. We had a public library card. My mother took us to the library in Chicago. She read stories to us. Then I found out. Oh, look at that book. Mitch Al. Look at this. The human oh my body. Gosh, Mystery books. This. I didn't know that. No way. That my grandmother could not read, write, add, or subtract. She grew up in Virginia. She was sent to live with a white family. And all they taught her was to cook and clean. They never sent her to school. My grandmother would take the newspaper and hold it and just turn the pages as if she were reading it. And I just thought, wow, that yearning, that desire, wishing that she could read. I made a vow right then and there that I was gonna teach people how to read. I founded the Metro East Literacy Project. I'm the executive director. A social mobility study showed that a family that has at least 25 books in their home, those children are gonna stay in school longer than a family that doesn't have any books. And getting to that question about not having any books, those are book deserts. Well, good morning. Good morning. It's Linda, the book lady. Miss Lewick. This is like a teenage book. Look at this. What? Are you going to make your dad? 67% of kids today, they're not able to read proficiently. I'm not saying they don't know their ABCs, you know, but, but they can't read proficiently by the time they're entering fourth grade, which is when you're reading to learn your other subjects. And, and how's that going to work out? Emails, can't get in the military, high-tech jobs, text messages, inmate population, billboards. health Functions. literacy, illiterate. Woo! What are the consequences? That's not acceptable. 67% of kids, that's not acceptable. That needle hasn't moved for 20 years. I'm mad about it. I'm mad about that. In developing the Metro East Literacy Project, I was trying to find the reason why that needle hadn't been moving. I educated students in a traditional classroom. First grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, high school English, GED courses, traditional classroom. Then I had a job where I was a parent educator, parent as teachers program. Loved it. Went on over a thousand home visits. So I'm in the trenches in the classroom. Then I'm in the trenches in the living room. And I noticed something. I had a eureka moment. It's the home. Literacy begins at home. That's the powerhouse. And so if the parents are reading and modeling that behavior, the kids, especially the little kids, they're going to catch that. They're going to copy that. They see you on the phone. They see you sweeping. They play in their little, watch them play in their pretend kitchens. How do they know how to do that? They saw their parents. They saw the adults around them doing that. So I'm thinking, well, why can't they see the adults around them reading a book? So what I discovered being in the trenches in the home, the culture comes from the parents. And what I saw is the culture beast. I call it the culture beast because it's a beast. It's hard to break through and get that culture going in the home. Oh, my lovely family. This is a 3T for Amir. Oh, that's small. 
Sometimes I wonder if I have enough time left okay. to, to get this job done. It really is kind of an uphill climb to get people to see the value of reading. I am not putting parents down. They want their children to succeed. They have dreams for them. They have goals for them. We're talking about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Wait a minute, I need to put food on the table. I don't care about no book. In ancient Greece, once every seven years, a ship with black sails would enter the port of Athens and take seven boys, you, 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 seven girls, you, 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 and they would take them and put them in the maze to meet the awful minotaur. But one year, a great hero boarded the ship and he said, I'm gonna stop this. He was mad. Sometimes I may not have all the support and help that I need. I can get volunteers most of the time, like to help out in my storage unit, to put the labels on the books. So that's great. You know, I have moments of doubt where, where, whether I am doing the right thing, how am I doing it, is anybody listening? I'm doing this work myself. I'm pretty much wearing all the hats. I, I didn't have any template for how do you build a nonprofit? How do you start the Metro East Literacy Project? So, but when I get in those moments, I can look around my office. I've got positive statements all around me that make me keep going. Just because it's something is hard, that doesn't mean that you're not supposed to do it. So I can't give up. If I give up, what am I gonna do? It just makes me mad when I think about my grandmother who was denied the right to read, wasn't taught to read and write. And before her, all the other enslaved people who were denied that right. And there's a reason for that because reading is so powerful. I credit everything in my life with having that skill. I can teach myself. I'm teaching myself languages. I'm teaching myself anything because I can decipher those words on a page. I can comprehend. And to think that there are people who are not able to do that and navigate their lives and they suffer. They suffer because of it. I feel like it's um, my divine assignment and so no matter how steep the hill is, I gotta keep climbing, climbing because there's somebody, some family out there who's gonna be free. Their literacy is gonna be their liberation. It's gonna take them higher. And that's what I believe. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, what comes next? G, G for what? Gabby! Who are you? The king said. My name is Theseus. I have come to ask you to let me face the Minotaur alone. Let me face the monster. If I slay him, so he's gonna make a deal. If I slay him, you must trouble us no longer. If I fail, my companions will follow me into the maze. 